Say good morning. This is Calvin, Black Lab. He's my helper this morning. I'm attempting home repairs. Anyway, early morning, I don't know if I said in another vid, we are doing a bunch of things today. We are changing out an old, really crappy Honeywell thermostat here that, uh, you know, strictly battery operated and that's, well, replacing it with another battery operated one, but a uh, White Rogers. I've had good luck with those. In fact, that's the White Rogers upside down. Uh, White Rogers 70 series, right there. So uh, that's what we're that's what we're gonna put in. I'm gonna sit that on the stove. Remind me to cook it well. Um, yeah, I had a had a little bit of fun with this wire here. I saw downstairs when I looked in the furnace that they hooked up a common and they had an extra one in there, but. Yeah, it was jammed in the wall. So I'm just waiting for the plaster, or plaster Paris to dry here. Uh, it's a heck of a lot stronger and a lot better than the uh, uh, spackle. We got that hazard. Um, I'm drilling holes through walls. Well, not exactly, but... At Time Warner's suggestion... Uh, actually, their suggestion was to, oh, well, there's, a, here's my helper. Uh, their suggestion was to take the splitter, put it on the end of this cable, attach another wire, and all the while it's, you know, hanging right here, run it down through the floor and into the living room. All right, looks like crap. So I decided to open up. Uh, take this out because sometimes they don't put boxes in here when they do they put a nice deep one like this but uh cut a hole in there i got a hole i drill through the um i call it the plate but the uh whatever they are down there and uh this is cable company provided so i drilled a hole through that and what i'm going to do is pull a cable straight up through here going to attach it to this. I don't want to get it too far because i got a hole and this will end up in the wall. Attach this cable to it. Attach another short piece to the back of this. And then all you have is a cable jack and this can continue to feed the cable internet. So it's hidden. It's kind of a, a neater way of doing it. And I notched off this box just so I could uh, work with it a lot better. Because there's going to be a couple wires, you know, so that can sit in there. And it was also the advice of another commercial master electrician, my father. That that's what they did in homes. And this was all pre-wired. I mean, these wires go up, over, around, and, and outside. So that's where we're at for this. I just don't have a wire on me long enough that will reach down through there, but yeah, that's my mess. And uh, let's take a look downstairs. Can't give all my secrets away, but there's a secret I was shown to finding the appropriate drill space. And with my tired DeWalt drill, and by tired I mean when you spin it, it's burning, it needs brushes, but, you know, the motor's been, it's been used and abused. But that really long drill bit, I managed to make, okay, you can see two holes there. One actually went through, the other one, the other one has a nail on it, which ain't cool. And I'll give you a hint, you see these two nails here? They're on either side of the box. It narrows your your um, where you're going to drill your path, so you know you really you don't want to go you know too much to the right of this and too much to the right of that. You know, where is it? It's hard to do this. So basically, that's your center, going right up there, and it it's right in line with the hole in the box upstairs. So yay me. 
a previous person, if you see my screwdriver here, that's where they had the cable pushed through the hole to go into the kitchen. Not pretty. And you can see they attempted to do some kind of hole through here. But after measuring, you discovered that this drywall goes up through the steps. Um, it's the wall on, on the other side of the steps. And the drywall in the bedroom is resting right here. And this is right up against the baseboard. This nail, approximately. So with some measurements and uh, a little bit of experiment experience with that, you know, roller, um, that works good. So I'll keep you updated with that. And when the plaster dries, we're gonna, you know, tackle this beast here, the furnace. I'm gonna put that thermostat in because the honey well, I don't, I don't know. It's just, you crank it up to 74 and the room is 68 and it still wouldn't kick in. So I'm just putting what I know works on there. And my helper's taking a break. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to have a drink here. Look at the temperature. Temperature is good. It's actually cold for this refrigerator. So, let's adjust this refrigerator down to five and see how it does, actually, yeah. Put that five right in the middle. We're going to have a drink. No, I'm not going to drink one of those. If you've ever had it. I'm not a complete health food nut, but coconut juice is really good. I'm going to enjoy it. Video is 7 minutes and 21 seconds long, so I will catch you later.